What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how uh, to check your battery cells for, you know, whatever you may be using that you're getting authentic battery cells. So what you're going to need is your cells of course, then your ohm meter, a scale, and then a charger. And uh, before we get into any of that, you know, these are 18650s. I'll leave a link in the description down below for a reputable seller, which is Lion Wholesale. Uh, I have some EBL uh, 26650s I ordered last Sunday, and despite several billion emails to the seller, they're still sitting in Chino, California, painfully slow shipping. So uh, yeah, EBL isn't the best, but that's what's available. First thing what we're going to do is we're going to, you're going to get the spec sheet. These happen to be Sanyo, um, also known as Panasonic's because they rewrapped them. And again, I will leave uh, the model of these down below. And uh, what you're going to do is make sure, first and foremost, these came in today and they were uh, sitting out in the cold for quite a while so you gotta let them warm up get to room temperature so it's been been a few hours and we're gonna use uh, our ohm meter here we're gonna set it to DC volts and we're gonna take one cell these happen to be flat top and we're just gonna put the positive there and negative here and test the voltage on it alright so we'll take the cell and then uh we're just going to test for voltage, see what the voltage is. So we're at uh, 3.48 on this cell. We're at 3.48 on that cell, which uh, these two cells came out of that package. So I got another uh, set here. Three, uh, four, eight on that one. Three, four, eight on that one. So, very consistent so far. I have another pack here. Three, four, eight on that one. Three, four, eight on that one. So uh, the voltages look good. Okay. So the next thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our scale on and we're gonna make sure that we're on grams so uh, you know your scale is gonna vary mine is set on grams now this cell here should weigh 48 grams according to Lion Wholesale and you know it's roughly and uh, this part I do wanna say you know uh, the knockoff people that you know are rewrapping these and claiming that they're uh, Sanyo or Panasonic they found a way around you know to, to make them way more so it's not a hundred percent but I still like to weigh my cells so we're at 47.1 and Lion Wholesale uh, it comes in at 48 grams so you know it's it's uh, very slightly 0.9 off another consistent cell 47.1 and then we'll do uh, the other cells that I got just to see 47.1 47.2 so very very consistent so far we'll do the other two 47.1 47.2 so there you go very consistent and this is why I said go with a recommended seller and I recommend these people because they care and they sell you authentic stuff if you don't listen you're gonna get fucking burned and then it's your own fault Okay, so before we get on to putting the batteries in the charger, these cells or any batteries, including nickel metal hydrate, um, they all discharge. So 
it's important that you cycle your batteries that means put them in the charger and then uh, do a full they call it a normal mode which is normal it's gonna charge the battery up deplete it and then recharge it my recommendations everybody you know has their own but my recommendations is every three to six months you want to do that so if these are sitting in uh, you know your cupboard and the other thing is make sure that your room temperature is 68 to 80 degrees that's ideal you can also store these in you know a refrigerator and uh, it will help them discharge slower but if you care about your batteries um, like the other Tenergies I had that I did in my other video I didn't care about them and you know they lost uh, internal memory they still charged up and they still worked but the capacity diminished and they will diminish over time these are good only for about 500 cycles and uh, that means uh, charge discharge etc so uh, with that said uh, let's get on to putting these batteries in and what we're gonna do these were the first two cells these were the second two cells so uh, we want to write down we already know they're uh, all 3.4 volts and that was another thing uh, when you're storing these you want to store them at 40 to 50 percent capacity you don't want them stored fully charged I used to just store my batteries all fully charged but it is better to do that so let's go ahead and we'll put one battery in here and we can see uh, the charger is saying 3.7 volts and that's a current of uh, 500 milliamps the MR is the internal resistance which is 28 which is very good so I like that put another one in again 3.47 volts 19 we'll put another one in again same voltage 23 very good and put the fourth one in there same voltage very good memory now we're gonna press at least on this charger and we're gonna cycle and e each go watch my video if you don't have this charger and you'll understand what I'm doing here so we want the NOR test and then we're gonna go and do the same for channel 2 and then uh, channel 3 same thing and then channel 4 we are already on NOR test so if you don't understand um, I'll just briefly explain what's gonna happen in the normal test right now it's gonna charge these batteries to their full capacity and these are a 10 amp uh, discharge current discharger only discharges at a thousand so if we look at um, one we can change that discharge current uh, to a thousand if you want it does three five seven and um, a thousand which is one amp I'm just gonna leave it on the 500 and uh, let that run getting back to uh, uh, the voltage these batteries will charge up to 4.2 volts once it reaches 4.2 volts then it's gonna start discharging the cells and right down here you have the hour and the minute once uh, the cell completely discharges across all four channels then it's going to start recharging it so it charges discharges it and then it recharges it and then you'll get your milliamp capacity which these should be 34 uh, 3450 milliamps the minimum should be 3350 milliamps and this is going to take quite some time to do so uh, you're, you're looking at maybe eight hours or more we'll just check back later okay so uh, it is two hours and 42 minutes here on uh, the batteries and uh, figured I would do a temperature reading 
with the laser thermometer. And again, you know, I hardly use this thing, and they put that fucking shitty uh, rubberized stuff on it, and it feels all sticky. I wish companies would stop doing that. So anyway, let's uh, see what the average temperature, just pointing it, you know, at the countertop here. Oh, yeah, you can see. So we're at 73.1 right around uh, this table. And if we point it at cell 1, we're at 91, 90.8, 90.9. Cell 2, 93 degrees. And then cell 4, 92.2. And then uh, cell 4 is the coolest of 89.6. That's Fahrenheit. Now the charger itself, if we point it, we're at 97.9 and then down here it is 90.7 and then up there we're at 90 point, you know, 91 point, uh, battery, 87.2. Okay, so um that's charging at 500 milliamp now if the more current say if we had this set instead of at 500 milliamp and we had it set at a thousand milliamp or one amp you're gonna kill your cells a lot quicker because you're charging them faster and you're discharging them faster so the more current that you're drawing and pushing in and out of them is going to deplete their life a lot quicker which results in you know lower milliamps so if uh, we recall these cells are supposed to be 3450 milliamps max and uh, 3350 milliamps minimum that's going to go down, so keep that in mind when you're doing this. Alright, so quick check-in at 3 hours, 51 minutes. And uh, cell 1 is at 4.01 volts. And then uh, cell 2 is at 3.99. 3 is at 3.99 and 4 is at 3.98 volt take a uh, another temperature reading on the counter it is 72 first cell is uh, 88.7 88.9 second one is 90.9 third is 90.6 and the fourth is 87.7. The charger itself, right below the cells, is 98.1. Down below it is 92.91.6. And then up top, right in the center, is 82.7, 83.7. All right, so uh, we're at four hours, 41 minutes. Cell 1, we're almost there, 4.11 volts, 4.9, 4.10, and 4.9. And, uh, you know, I, I saw a bunch of people use uh, those infrared guns, and we'll start at the very, you know, negative side. So you got 88.6, and uh, 89, 90. So 90.6 on this side. So 90.6 and then uh, 88.1. We could do the cell to 90.6 to 91. Cell 3, 89.7 to 90.5. And cell 4, 87.1 to 87, 88.2. So you don't need one of those fancy uh, infrareds, you can uh, just use one of these and it'll tell you the temp of the cell. Okay, so 
we uh, are now finished with the first cycle in the normal mode we are checking back in an hour and 27 minutes you can see the milliamps are starting to show up uh, it's 4.3 volts on channel 1, 4.3 on 2 and 4.3 on 4 we'll go back with the milliamps there's 397 milliamps 93, 65, and now that just turned 70. So this is going to take probably another five hours, well, four, about three and a half hours more. So we're already uh, six hours and 34 minutes into this. So we are now at 5 hours and 26 minutes, only at 1378 on cell 1, 3, well, 1375, 1347, 1351. Alright, so uh, it's 8 hours and 16 minutes, 2096. 2092, 2065, 2069. Alright, so 13 hours, 25 minutes later, cell 1 is 3.62 volts with 3398 milliamps. Cell 2 is 3.59 volts with 3451 milliamps and a uh, 19 MR uh, cell 3 is 3.58 volts with 3462 milliamps 23 MR cell 4 is uh, 3.58 volts with 3451 milliamps and an 18 so uh, what you would do with this data you would write it down before you take them out and you can see down here it's flashing end and if you wanted to match and create a matched set of uh, batteries what you would just simply do is match the voltages the milliamps and uh, you would put them together in if you're building a series pack, you know, you wired them in series.